Hi gringo, welcome one more time to our channel Brazil with Ass. Today we will talk about 10 freaking good national movies for you to watch and be delighted with our Brazilian productions. If you want to help our Brazilian culture to spread around the world, help with our engagement, so like it, comment, share it and turn the bell on to be always notified about new videos. Aquarius Sonia Braga, beloved by Brazilian people since early days, is the journalist Clara, the last resident of an old building in Recife. Estamos aqui para a senhora uma outra proposta. Para a compra do seu apartamento. Meu apartamento não está à venda, eu não vou vender. Isso aqui está sob minha responsabilidade, é meu primeiro projeto e eu vou, eu vou atacar. Under a construction company pressure to sell the house, she refuses the proposal and picks the fight. By this movie, you can get a little bit of the real estate speculation in our country. Ela tá com medo, mas eu sei. A gente veio falar mais pro seu bem. O que é que vocês estão fazendo aí? A senhora tá vivendo num prédio que não tem, que ficou velho, que não tem segurança, que não tem estrutura nenhuma, ele tá vazio. Não. Não tá vazio, tô aqui, eu moro aqui. O Homem do Futuro The Man from the Future Wagner Moura, a unique actor and director in Brazil's history, deserves the spotlight. He plays the same character on different timelines. Você tá doente. Você tá doente da cabeça. Desde quando, Dr. Frank? 22 de novembro de 1991. 22 de novembro de 1991. In the present day, zero brilliant, lonely scientist became a hateful person for being humiliated by Helena, the actress Aline Moraes, his teenagerhood great love in a party in 1991. The leading character ends up on a kind of time machine and goes 20 years back in time. It is a worth-watching romantic comedy as well as reproduces a scene based on one of the best songs ever written from our country, Tempo Perdido from Renato Russo. Reflexões de um liquidificador, or Reflections of a Blender. It is a dark humor police comedy. In the play, the 60 years old Elvira, played by the actress Ana Lucia Torres, goes to the police station to notify her husband disappearing. The actor Germano Hayut, she ends up being the main suspect. The script then goes back in time and shows an old blender which has Celto Mello's voice to change this humble housewife's daily life. Friend and confident, the appliance turn up being a safe zone for her tensions. Here it is an amazing thriller, it is a movie that shows a huge creativity executed with excellence. O filme da minha vida, or the movie of my life. The movie is directed by Celto Mello, well-known actor by his long years career and big talent. It is a period drama set in the 60s that has a breathtaking photography direction by Walter Carvalho. It's a visual elegance, shows a beautiful family history of encounters and mismatches. Tony Terra Nova, the actor Johnny Massaro, a young professor, go back to his little town in the countryside of Rio Grande do Sul and discovers that his father, the actor Vincent Cassel, abandoned his mother and returned to France, his hometown. In love with his best friend, the actress Bruna Lindsay Meyer, 
Tony got his anxieties off his chest with the rude pig farmer Paco, the actor Celton Mello. Porco não. O porco é porco o tempo todo. Essa é a diferença do homem pro porco. Don't call me son, or the name in Portuguese, mãe só a uma. The attention is all around Pierre, the actor Naomi Nero, a 17-year-old boy who walks among genders. He plays in a rock band, he paints his nails, he's like dressing up like a woman, and has no commitment sex with girls, although he also has a crush on boys. A young guy who struggles with his feelings get even worse when he finds out that the women he considers his mother actually kidnap him when he was born. Temos uma denúncia de que talvez você não seja filho da Dona Aracena. Você já tirou sangue? Não. Não tem um outro jeito de a gente fazer isso? Não foi adotado não, Pierre. Você foi roubado. São 17 anos procurando. Como nossos pais, or like our parents, Maria Ribeiro, who is from Rio de Janeiro, stands up in the role of Rosa, a 38 years old mother of two girls married to an activist director, Paulo Vilhena, who finds herself in the middle of a family crisis, that it's because After some glasses of wine, her mother, the great Clarice Abujanha, surprises with a big revelations about the identity of Rosa's father. From then on, the director, Laís Bodansky, makes a love and mature registers of mothers, fathers and children's relationships. Você tem do seu pai? O Homero sempre foi um pai ausente. Mãe, deixa eu te falar uma coisa. Se meu pai te deixou... Tropa de Elite or Elite Squad. It's a 2007 Brazilian police thriller and it's a huge success of Brazilian film industry. Directed by José Padilha, who also wrote the script, it shows a urban violence in Rio de Janeiro and the day by day of Poppy, the special police forces. In a group headed by Captain Nascimento, the actor Wagner Moura, brilliant as always, by the way, who wants to leave the corporation and find someone to replace him. The nation's top police force to clean up the crime on both sides of the law. O último cine drive-in, or the last drive-in cinema. Taking place in Brasilia, the drama shows the fall of a drive-in movie. Between humor and emotion, the plot tracks a young boy when taking his mother for some exams at the hospitals, decided to look for his father, who's actually in the drive-in movie zona. Temporada Juliana, played by Gracie Passo, was hired by the Mayor Hall of Contagem in Minas Gerais to work as an agent to combat endemic disease. Her business is to supervise houses, drink beer with friends, and realize little by little that her marriage is coming to an end. There is no big drama or even twist, it's just life the way it is. Paraíso Perdido, or Lost Paradise, Erasmo Carlos, who is an extremely famous singer in Brazil, role plays José, widower and owner of the nightclub Paraíso Perdido, where prejudice remains out. It is a bucolic place to let passions rise, like the transformist Iman, José's granddaughter, and fond of an English teacher. There is still the patriarch children drama, Angelo, singer who lost his beloved wife and Niva arrested for murder. At the club station, Erasmo, Seu Jorge, Julio Andrade and Jalu belt out a romantic playlist who goes around Odair José, Márcio Greitschek, Reginaldo Rossi, Raul Seixas, Belchior, among many others. It is simply irresistible. Você entrou na boate Como se entrar As pessoas não te odeiam pelo que você é Mas pelo que elas não conseguem ser 
Thanks everyone for watching it. I assure that you have a good time with this material. Do not forget to click on the like button and leave the comment down here if you have any questions or suggestions. I see you next time, guys. Bye bye.